is up, guys? McDonald's back again with a brand new video, and today I've got for you guys not the Titan Script build, but that is coming. I've already got it ready, but I had to show this to you guys. I've got a backstab build for you guys. I've realized and discovered that it's completely broken overpowered, and I just wanted to share it with you guys before it ends up getting nerfed. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's jump right in. Look at this shit. Oh, wow. Aquatic form. <laughs> Your dude's just bugged. He looks like a fucking idiot, too. That's the worst part. Oh, my God. I... I could screenshot this. Look at that. Your character is just stuck like that right now. Like you're putting on different Dude, that's gear. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. That's a really good screenshot for like a video. I know. I'm incredible, aren't With I? With all the dead bodies in the background, that's pretty good. I'm really good at this. Okay, shut the fuck up. I am. I got an eye, my friend. Okay, I'll be right back. Wait, here's a dude. He's literally. Nice! Ray, come back! Fuck you! I can't even believe I did that! Feet of the Lynx? Alright guys, that was just a fun clip, right? The point though, is that we're gonna be playing a backstab build, and the backstab build is probably the most broken, no it is, the most broken melee build that I have played on Project Ascension so far in Season 7. The fact of the matter is, I didn't expect it. I made this character with my friend as like a trash alt to just have fun with. I recorded, but I, I gotta be honest, I never expected to use the clips. It was just because that's what I do, right? I wanted to see if something good did happen, that I had it, right? And then I rolled the backstab, right? And at that precise moment, I began to learn the real power of a backstab build. Let me just show you some low-level clips where my eyes uh, finally started to open. Dude, they are scared. But... Oh my god, I'm hitting 254 or, uh, backstabs? No crit. No- oh! Dude, what the hell? I'm broken! Backstab is like the best low-level build, it seems. <laughs> Look, they fucking scatter when you go to their backline. They're like, oh shit! <laughs> Somebody who's actually a- Oh, I one-shot that guy! Dude, I'm so freaking strong! He sees me, and he's like, what? I can't hurt him. There we go. Ready for Dude, I need to upgrade Pyroblast, because this shit is not hitting for anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Coming out of the woodworks, just hitting like a truck. Oh god damn. Are you watching this by any chance? No. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> See ya. Going for a heal. Kill Fart Butter. I hate him. Ugh. Why do they have to run? They're terrified. Oh, I fucking killed him before I died! Because the only other thing is Mind Soothe. Yeah. Oh, I gained a level right when I was about to die. That's so lucky. Oh, I got fucking interrupted. No. 
Uh, I'm on top, dude. Do you see that? So what you're noticing is backstab as an ability is scaling just a little too good at lower levels. And this does continue on to max, as you'll see as we progress with the video. It hits something like 3 to 350% of your weapon damage. Even though it's with a dagger, it doesn't really matter. You can buy the PvP daggers very easily and very quickly from the honor shop for like 2k honor, man. And that's exactly what I did. I was using only 19 or level 18, rather, PvP daggers in these clips. And I was in my 20 bracket in my 30 bracket later on and i was still dominating the crits are absurd you're able to hit somebody for more than half of their health in one single crit and you can just imagine if some dude came in here with even mildly twinked gear yeah it's gonna be literally impossible Damage with this build is so stupid. It's it's so nutty. And I have sprint blink charge. What the fuck? This, this shouldn't be this way. I mean, we're at the top though. <laughs> Not that that many people, but. Oh yeah, nice. Bro. Yeah, that is depressing, but don't, don't get me wrong, it is. <laughs> oh, I gained a level, they bitch! Die. This person's name is Cum Hands. Oof. Okay, so I've had no intention of making this character good, but it turned out that I actually ended up rolling Ambush and Sap, which is just amazing for PvP. And we have the Hemorrhage, we have the Ren, the Charge, the Blink, the Sprint, the Backstab. I'm using a weird random enchant called Gorilla Trapper, but I don't even have Concussive Shot. I was using it because I don't quite have the abilities I need for any other random enchant uh, in terms of like direct synergy with my spells. I need like Eviscerate, for example, to go Blood and Guts or Shadow Step or something like that. This just gave me a bleed. This should tell you how broken Backstab is to where I could use half of a Legendary random enchant just so i could target throw a trap like i just did they step on it they get a, you know a big bleed effect and i'm still successful i pulled out the kick which is quite good as well three different heals and we have the rock biter weapon and the true shot aura for more ap i don't even have great gear but i'm gonna show you guys some arenas we did where it just didn't matter oh this is gonna be embarrassing dude i think i might actually win This guy just popped Fungarians on me, dude. What does that even mean? It means he did... It, it, okay, it's a random enchant that turns your tree of life, I mean your force of nature, okay, into Fungarians, which were like a wad thing, I believe. Oh, and I just had bear attack come out forgot i had that why run under the bridge when i'm on top i have free reign on you dude i can do whatever i want gg so what you're seeing is the beginnings right of me getting the hang of a backstab hemo ambush build with the sap with the kick uh with interestingly enough the gorilla trapper trap and it's somehow winning it does well right i'll show some 2v2 later on in the video where it also does quite well and it's just impressive to see uh, that a simple build like this could be so highly tuned uh, to where literally just spamming the backstab, the occasional hemo for the ambush proc is it. That's it. And it's so much damage with every single stab. <laughs>
All right, up against Dirty Dan. Wow. Yeah, but this dude got... <laughs> Ray, you don't even know, man. You don't even know. But one of the things you definitely have seen me use in these clips is the bear attack epic enchant, which is something that if you level up, uh, if you've played Ascension for a bit, you know that bear attack is a good little enchant to toss on your gear because it's broken at lower levels. It has been nerfed, but it's still really good. And it's not something you see as much. I'll just say as much, not never, but as much at max level. But you know what? It served a good purpose for me while I was leveling and I decided... I'm just going to PvP with what I've got on. I don't care if it's not the best. Let me see what I can do because the build's already done good. So what I want you guys to understand is that what I'm currently playing is not even optimized yet in terms of gear and enchant. The talent build is decent for what I've got. I would say it's probably where you want to be and I'll let you know where my talents are at at the end of the video. But in terms of gear and enchants, that's not where I'm at. I'm not there yet. The character just hit max and yet I won every single one of my 1v1 matches. Every single one. That's pretty freaking great guys. So I've got high hopes for this build. You know one of the main enchants we're using is Rush of Blood. This increases the critical strike chance of hemorrhage by 20%. When I say main I mean it's because it's the only enchant I'm using that actually I think will end up being used on the build uh, at all when it's optimized right? That's how little I have for this guy right now. Now, other than the uh, Rush of Blood, which is also, by the way, allowing my hemorrhage criticals to make my ambush cheaper and usable outside of stealth, which you would have seen in those clips and we'll continue to see as well. But other than that, like I said, we have just Gorilla Trapper and Bear Attack. That's it. It's just like, it's not even close to optimized and yet we're still so strong. Notorious monsters, dude. Notorious monsters. If you kill shit long enough, they spawn a super uber powerful monster that drops gear. And that's this, man. He's dead. I knew if I could just get behind it, it was dead. There we go. All right, let's see. It's actually, this is not like the best I've seen, but Eye of Brilliance is not bad, dude. Already? Look how fucking lucky we are, man. A freaking another one. And we were about to leave and I trade that guy some stuff, man. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's the one that I actually wish my fire tank had, but the normal version of it. I'm actually going to take it. Because I already have one on my fire tank, and I want two. So I saw somebody die earlier in the chat, and it said they died. Let's see. Farron of the Horde has been slain by This Is Not Me near you at Lake Mereldar. Enemy spotted. There are three guildies, the ones that already killed us, who ran by, and I saw them on the minimap. Dude, we oh should hearthstone. God. We already got the daily done. I don't know if we should stay. This guy is so mad. He just told me to kill myself. All right, so I just got done with some high risk, and I gotta be honest, guys. If you're not getting farmed, you are killing people and just going for their loot, because that's the point, right? You go do dailies, you do what you can, uh, and you grab the loot. We did get a 2v2 in there, which is nice. We also got farmed by a guild, but as you saw, I also had my moments where I gave people people their loot back because I'm not shit and I understand but this is basically what I came out with after vendoring stuff by the way we're up like 50 gold from that and that was maybe 25 minutes I got a bunch of cool stuff like the blood forge cadaverous armor savage glad leggings eye of rend of brilliance that came from a notorious monster things like the hands of the exalted herald or even the tome of knowledge perhaps even the pads of the dread wolf right that's incredible Oh man, that's Prebis actually in Vanilla WoW, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of that stuff, but I'm pretty happy with it. I also am so addicted to my limitless Noggin Fogger elixir, man. All right, we're doing some more arena. Ambush. Crap. She got it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> wow. Jesus. That's crazy damage. So backstab, yeah, it's pretty freaking good, isn't it? I just want to go ahead and show you guys my talents just 
let you know what I was working with. Uh, you know, this is a work in progress, and I just kind of made it up. It's not heavily edited or anything like that. Just did it as I went along. Uh, we have basically anything we could get that increased the damage or crit for backstab or hemorrhage, including things that increase critical damage, like lethality, right? I'm increasing the damage of rupture because I happen to roll it along the way uh, with things like blood splatter up here or the serrated blade. Also allows me to ignore 9% of my opponent's armor, right? That's pretty good. We also get 20% more backstab damage right here as well as the ambush. And on that topic, 50% ambush crit and 15% more hemorrhage crit. This, coupled with my random enchant, is 35% more crit for the hemorrhage, which again is doing 194% of my dagger's damage damage and that's pretty solid we got the sap so we got the dirty tricks gotta right and increases the range and reduces the energy cost of the sap that's pretty freaking solid and towards the end i was trying things like waylay so that ambush will have a chance uh, to reduce my targets time between their attacks by 20 percent and reduce their movement speed reason being is i don't have a hamstring or anything like that and so one thing i noticed towards the end is that anybody that could uh, create a gap i simply couldn't win right i had one match against a frostbolt player and the fact of the matter is I literally could not win. It was impossible because I couldn't touch him because I didn't have a slow. It doesn't matter how many gap closers you have if you can't stick on the target. So always keep that in mind when you play melee. But this is a pretty solid and very integral talent as well for backstab, slaughter from the shadows. Reducing that energy cost means backstab is going to be highly spammable. And because it hits so hard, right? That's where your burst is coming from. A quick succession of those ambushes and those backstabs, which is pretty freaking solid i got the mutilate but we never picked up the eviscerate so we have the the bones so to speak for a blood and guts build we'll just have to see if we can roll the right stuff for it and you know what i also have things in the fury tree like shredding blows which is like a permanent 15 percent armor pen which is pretty good and then some basic stuff that you just to finalize this that you saw on the sub tree like deadliness for six percent more attack power and six percent more rupture damage i mean again built as i went along but it worked extremely well even with weird things that don't even need to be with the build like gorilla trapper so my point is get out there guys make a backstab build just get some daggers buy them off the auction house right for like three gold okay or get the pvp daggers if you can trust yourself to farm the honor remember you can farm it on a main and send it to your alt the fact of the matter is that's all you need to do and you'll be dominating uh, the way i did i don't actually know if it's going to get nerfed or anything like that but it's certainly fun enough for you to abuse while you still can because you will have an edge over your opponents while leveling for sure battlegrounds world pvp whatever it might be it's just broken as hell right now and just imagine if you were to pick up the shadow step dude in the sub tree or even the shadow dance for those instant um out of stealth ambushes right but again that shadow step is so freaking solid and there's a lot of really cool epic enchants and legendary enchants rather that i would like to use that have to do with it and maybe you can actually give it a try before me and let me know right but we rolled well i have some other characters i want to try one thing i want to show you guys real quick is this guy so i have an alt called mcflurry and i do expect to use him at some point i've been collecting the cards for him because i want him to be a frost hybrid and the fact of the matter is frost hybrid hybrid is not easy to do it it has its prerequisites right so here's the thing i've already got a lava lash card on this guy as well as a frost shot card which is awesome right for a frost build but i also acquired recently the storm strike which can be used to increase frost damage on my opponents as well as the cone of cold i'd have to get rid of the lava lash card because of the way it works out my frost shot card is the only golden out of the pair that i had already but i think that's okay because Lava Lash is a common and you can basically guarantee to roll it. That's something I've learned about the commons. It's the rares that can be very annoying. But with the Storm Strike and the Cone and a Frost Bolt start and the Frost Shock also guaranteed, I think that's basically it. I think we're good. You know, I think we can actually make a real Frost Hybrid. So I would expect that. And this is a good segue to go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video. But before we do that, let me just say if you want to win your own chest, what I want you to do is leave a comment in the comments section below and in that comment i want you to tell me do you want to see a frost hybrid and if not what do you want to see me play because we're going to start playing some new builds guys uh, as i gear my main of course or what is looking like it's going to be my main being the uh, titanic mutilator build i really like it but yeah we're going to make more builds and it looks like frost hybrid is on the menu so let me know all right we're where we're supposed to be we've got the link for the last video put in let's get those youtube comments um this is less than 24 hours right 
372. Nice. Let's start the raffle and see who wins the chest. Chris D. God, I love this content. Well, God, I love you, my friend. All I want you to do is make a character or tell me your in-game name. I'll message you on YouTube now. Get back to me. We'll send you a chest. Congratulations, man. So, okay guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Listen, I know it's a shorter one, but let me be real, you guys know I'm not gonna elongate something just for the extra clicks or something, right? I'm gonna give you guys what I think I need to give you in order to convey the message or just the entertainment uh, that I'm trying to convey, right? So that's what this was. I wanted to show you guys a backstab build. I wanted to show you guys that it's broken, that you can abuse it right now in game and dominate people because it might get nerfed. You never know what's actually crazy strong. And uh, yeah, I, that's something that I wanted to give you guys. Just tossing it in the mix, right? And we'll move on, probably do another Titanic Mutilator video or a brand new build next. So again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe, but I will see you guys in the the next video, it doubles out. Ready for